What is the uh, title of this section? Angles, angles of triangles. Of triangles? Yes. Angles of triangles. triangle, the three interior angles will always add to 180 degrees. So as you would imagine, you're going to have a lot of uh, different equations to deal with that uh, deal with things like that. That's a pretty simple concept. So if the measure of angle A is equal to 60 degrees, measure of angle B was equal to 70 degrees, what would the measure of angle C be equal to? 50. Yep. How do you guys think you got that? 60 plus 70 mm -hmm. is 130, 180 minus 130 is 50. This uses 130 is 180 degrees, right? So there's only how many left for this one? Because then 60 plus 70 plus 50 all equals what? 180. 180. Pretty simple concept, huh? Yes, sir. But is there a specific way we have to write the equation? The three angles added together have to equal 180 degrees. <coughs> Now, <laughs> what do the angles inside a triangle have to add to, Noor? Huh? What do the angles inside a triangle have to add to? Good. Angle four is called an exterior angle. The reason it is called that is because if you notice AC, the side, this side AC of this triangle, it extends out, just keeps going, right? Yes. It creates an angle on the exterior outside with the other side. So anytime you do that, it's called an exterior angle. Okay? I want to see if we can figure anything out about angle four, about the measure of it. Uh, angle two is congruent with. All I know about a triangle so far is that what? It equals 180. What do you mean it equals 180? What does that mean? A measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C. The three interior angles of a triangle add to 180. So I could say that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus 
the measure of angle three should all equal what? 180. Don't write this down yet, just look. Does everyone agree with that fact? Yes. yes. Everybody see what I came to. These three have to add to 180. Well, what about angle three and angle four? It's on a straight line, so what do I know that here to here is? So what could I say that uh, angle 4, the measure of angle 4 plus what? The measure, the measure of angle 3 would equal what? If you'll look at the two equations I've put here, right? I said stop writing and just pay attention. I'm going to highlight in red all the things that are identical. Agreed? Mm -hmm. Everybody with me there? So no matter what's to the left of that measure of angle 3 there, right? Since they equal the same thing, what do you think I can say about what's underneath my hand? What are they also going to be? 180. The same. Aren't they? Think about it. Both, whatever's to the left of whatever's being added to the measure of angle 3 here. Both of them are whatever's left out of 180, aren't they? So wouldn't they have to be the same amount left out of 180? So you think from these two equations, I could say that that equals that? Would you agree with that? So we could say that the measure of angle 4 is equal to the measure of angle 1 plus what? The measure of <coughs> angle 2. Right? Because <coughs> aren't they both what's left out of 180? Because Four is what's left out of 180 as opposed to angle 3, and is it angle 1 and angle 2 add together what's left out of 180? This is called the exterior angle theorem. What it says is that an exterior angle's measure always be equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. So write that down right quick and then we'll talk about the wording. Maybe this will be so nice and corny that you'll actually remember. An exterior angle's measure will always be equal to the sum of its remote interior angles. Can you freeze it? For, mo for more fun, I'm going to draw another Down? No. What? Do you, how do you think we figure out what in the world do mean? Do you mean by remote interior angles? Ones that are like by themselves. Kind of. You may probably thinking the right thing. It's just hard to describe, right? Here's what I came up with as a person. The thing is, you guys probably don't remember these days, as I barely do. But did you guys realize when my parents were growing up, what did they not have for TVs? Remotes. 
oats. What did they have to do to change the channel? Get up. Get up. They had to get up and walk over to the TV, didn't they? All right? Well, since we have the word remote here, I want you to look at angle four. Would angle four have to get up and change the channel for angle three? No, it wouldn't because it's right beside it, isn't it? So its remote angles are the ones that need a remote to change the channel without having to give up. That's pretty good. So I mean, you need a remote for one and two, right? Because it's not right beside it. Huh? Huh? But one and it's one pretty corny. Is pretty good. I know. One but maybe it's so corny that maybe you'll remember it. One and two are five and six next to it, so they want to know. Shut up. Remote interior angles. <laughs> <laughs> so quit trying to just find another. Uh, is, is five an interior angle? No. Is six an interior? So could one and two be its remote interior? But four is not an interior angle. An exterior. He's asking anyway, what four is an interior. You're going to confuse interior. people. Seriously. I'm confused. Seriously. Okay. Angle four. It has two remote interior angles. There are three interior angles. Are there not one, two, and three? What's the only two angles that it would need a remote to change the channel with? One and two. Angle one and angle two because it's the two that's not the side. Okay. Now, angle five. What do you think the measure of angle five would equal? What is its two remote interior angles? Three and two, two and three. It's not the one beside it. Doesn't need a remote for that, but you need a remote for angle two and angle what? So it would be equal to the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle what? Three. How about the measure of angle six? Which uh, two angles would it need a remote to change the channel with? One and three. One and three. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle three. As corny as that is, at least it kind of, maybe it'll help you remember it, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. It's pretty corny. Will you write down which one you want to do it with? Oh, you already did. So, but, you know, in, in the concept of looking at it, if you look at this, too, you ought to be able to remember it, too, that this plus this is going to be 180, isn't it? So this has got to be equal to those two because those two added to that also have to equal what? 180. It's basically the other two angles. The ones not right beside it are the two remote interior angles, right? Okay. To tell you the truth, this right here is derived from this, is it not? The fact that they're both equal to 180. Equal to 180. This is another one of those uh, that they won't ever tell you on a problem. They won't, they'll never tell you on a problem. You're just supposed to know that anytime you see a triangle, what do you know about the interior angles? They add to? 180. Period. Okay? Oh, darn, I forgot to maximize this, so everything's small. Sorry. Sorry for those of you that use the video. Okay, does that make sense? Those are our two main concepts. Let's get out our little red books and see if we have some, uh, do a couple examples. As you would imagine, we're talking about the general concepts in a very easy way. But at the same time, we're trying to understand the concept. Now we're going to apply them to the probably some more, I don't want to say difficult, because they're not that difficult. But they're maybe in a, a little bit more difficult difficult clothing. Right here, what you better, you know, they'll have different ways they try to confuse you or, or make things unknown. However, right, number one, it's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? They say find the measure of each numbered angle. Did they give you two of the three angles inside the triangle? Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you add those two up, then you know what's left out of 180 for the third one to be, right? Yes. Does that make sense? So what's 62 plus 90? 152. So how much is left out of 180 for angle 1 to be? 28. 28? Mm -hmm. How easy is that? Easy. Now, they'll also do some harder ones like this. They said this is 30, but then they marked this. What's this got to be then? 30. Well, those added together equal what? 16. So how many out of 180 is left for this one? See what I mean? It's not too bad, is it? A 
I'll let you in a little secret. They'll also give you a problem like this. We'll call this 2A, we'll say. Let's say they say that's 100. And they ask what those two have to be. If these two are congruent. 40. 40. Here's the thing. They didn't give you two of the three here, did they? But what they did is they said these are the same. So there's 80 degrees left for what? Both of those. There's only one way to split up 80 evenly, and that's what? 40. 40 and what? So you divide it by two, right? Shh. I know we're going to get started. Now, this one, they're trying to confuse you by how many triangles are there right there? Can you guys tell me? Two. Three. There's three, actually. There's the whole big one, right? And then there's the two created by this line right here. But here's the deal. You know that this one's what? What's that make this one? 90. Well, if this is 90 and this is 60, what's that got to be? 30. Well, if this is 30, if this is 90 and this is 30, what's that got to be? 60. Not so bad, is it? Nope. What did they do to try to fool you on number four? They gave us the one the green side. First of all, which one can you find right now? The uh, left side. Angle one. No, angle one? Yeah. Because you have two of the three in the triangle there, don't you? So 58 and 66. 124. What? 124. Uh, 124. So how much is left out of 180? 56. Okay, there's 56 left there for that one. Now, they didn't give you two of the three here, did they? So if this is all you know about this situation, this is as far as you can go. But can anyone tell me what they're wanting you to remember from previous sections? Vertical angles. Vertical angles. At any time, two lines intersect. What do we know about the opposite angles? Same. They're congruent, right? So that means if this one is 56, this one is what? 56. 56 and 50 is 106, so there's what? 74 left for that one? So there we decided to add on what? Vertical angles to the problem. Here they're just having a bunch of things in a small amount of space. This is probably the only thing that makes this confusing. Worry about one thing at once. What do you know that one is? 90. Does that allow you to find that one? Yeah. What is it? 60. Well, this is 60, and they told you that whole thing's 90. What's left for that one to be? 30. But you could have also subtracted from 180 to get that one too, couldn't you? Not so bad. And isn't this last one just adding them up and adding those two up? And Tracking what is left, uh, eight degrees, right? It's a really small measurement, but it's what's left, isn't it? Yes. Okay, I'll make it harder than what it is. Now, how are they going to make these a little harder? Well, they could do like, on number one, this is just simply the exterior angle theorem, is it not? Yes. This exterior angle equals the sum of its remote interior angles, so the measure of angle 1 is equal to what? 1, 1, 5, because that's what those two added together are. Does everyone agree? Yep. However, look at number 3. Oh, goodness, what are they doing now? Parallel lines. Parallel lines, cut by a transversal. So these are alternate interior angles. So if this is 60, what's this? 60. If this is 60, what's this? 60. Those two are congruent, right? This is 60, this is 60. What's this angle? 120. 60. Oh, I'm sorry. It's right? Yes. So what's left for this to be? 120. Did you find it all? You could have gone a lot of different ways to find that, couldn't you? Aren't these two alternate interior angles? Yeah. These two sets? Whether it's respect to this one or that parallel line, they're alternate interior angles. And they can do things like on number four and just have a bunch of stuff all jumbled in together here. First of all, 
look at one where you have two of the three and start finding the things you can, then start worrying about other stuff. Mm -hmm. Which one can I find first? What number? Number one. Number one, because I have two of the three, right? What's 35 plus 36 going to be? 71. 71. So what does that leave for this one? 109? You guys agree with that? Okay, think about this. What do these two angles together make? What kind of line? 180. A straight line, so 180. So what's left for this one to be? 71. It's also an exterior angle, and these are our two remote interior angles, aren't they? Well, if this is 71, what's its vertical angle right here? 71. 80 and 71 makes what? 151, <laughs> leaving 29 for angle 2. See how it can look like a jumbled mess if you look at it at the whole thing at once? But just start using the rules you can. And all we've used is exterior angle, they add to 180, vertical angles, and linear pairs. That's all we use there. Now, what do you think they're going to do? And what do you think is going to happen on a lot of these problems? What are they eventually going to do here? Put what into it? Algebra. Algebra. They want the measure of angle ABC, so please pay attention to what they want. That's actually this angle right here, is it not? But to find that, I have to find what first? I have to find X, and I'm going to need to create an equation. Which one are they dealing with here? Are you dealing with an exterior angle and it's two remote interior angles, or that the three angles inside add to 180? Really, you can do either one here. Because if this is 145, what's left for this angle to be? Uh, 35. So you could do this one of two ways. You could say that 2x plus what? 95 plus what? 35. Equals what? 180. Or you could use the exterior angle theorem and say 145 is equal to 2x plus 95. If you'll notice, when I subtract 35 from both sides, I end up getting the exact same equation, don't I? Mm -hmm. Now subtract 95 again, and I get 2x is equal to what? 50? So what is x equal to? 25. Is that what the problem's asking for? No. Yes. No. Again, what's the problem asking for? Measure of, measure of angle ABC. If measure of angle ABC is X, then that's what it's asking for. Is it X, though? Mm. It's 2 times what? X. Whatever X is, and X is what? 50. 25, so 2 times 25 is? 50. So that's your answer right there. Do I need to zoom out on some of these others so you can see them? Nah. Well, I will for those at least. Your assignment.